What is happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com. And today, we're talking about one of the most popular knives of the last three decades. That's right. We're talking about the Kershaw Leak. Let's light it up. All right, folks, today we're talking about the Kershaw Leak. Now, I want to pose a question, and I want you to let us know in the comments down below. Is this the best EDC knife ever made? I mean, as far as sales goes, and as far as popularity over a long span of time, I mean, you're looking at a modern folder that uh, has done something that only something like the Buck 110 has done or a case trapper has done. So as far as modern folders goes, this one has definitely been one of the most popular and it has been for a really long time. Now, to talk about the Kershaw Leak, first we need to go back and give you a little bit of history. Now we've got a bunch of different leaks on the table right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of them. We've got, uh, the, we've got the different colors, we've got the carbon fiber, we've even got the composite, and we've got the newest in the line, and that's the random leak right there. So we've got a lot of these that we're gonna show you, but I wanna talk a little bit about the history. So this was not the first knife to actually come out with Kershaw's Speed Safe Assisted Opening. Uh, it was actually uh, several knives that come out already. Now, the Speed Safe Assisted Opening was designed by Ken Onion, who also designed the leak back in 1998, around 97 or 98, somewhere in there. Now the leak was actually first introduced in 2000, but it won Knife of the Year in 2002. And at that point, it was really off to the races. I mean, when the leak was first made, it really bridged a gap. And you're talking uh, either tip up or tip down right-handed carry pocket clip, speed safe assisted opening, and it's got a safety built into it. Now the cool thing is, I'm not a big fan of the safety. Um, I do have a leak, I do have a chive. I took the safety off. That's just me personally. I don't like the safety being there because nine times out of 10, either it gets engaged accidentally or it's engaged and I forget about it and then I go to open it, can't open the knife. I like to just be able to open my knife when I pull it out of my pocket. But I can understand some people's apprehension with it having the speed safe assisted opening. They don't want it to come open in their pocket. That's totally understandable. But like I said, Knife was released in 2000, one knife of the year in 2002, and since then, it has consistently been one of the most popular knives out there. And that's because it's kind of the perfect combination of very attractive, very utilitarian, very affordable, American-made, yes, American-made, and a good size so that it's not obtrusive, it's sleek, and it just works. It is an impeccable design. And that really shows with how popular it's been. Now, we're gonna go through and look at all of these different ones that we've got on the table right here. First off, I wanna show kind of the top end here. And uh, that's gonna be the car carbon fiber version here with CPM 154 on the blade steel. Now, all of these are gonna have basically the same dimensions. You're talking, a three inch blade, seven inches overall, four inch handle, which makes this a great EDC knife. When you look at how it fits in the hand, it's a good four, full four finger grip, very easily there. A great blade length so that you can get your finger out to the tip there and it's gonna make for a nice working blade. Um, it's a great blade shape. Even though I'm not a huge fan of Warncliffe blades, it's a great working blade shape for an EDC knife like this. Now this one, like I said, is coming in with CPM 154 on the blade steel. Over the years, a lot of different blade steels have been used. So you're talking anywhere from 20 CV on some special editions, even a, a special edition Damascus version that was made, I think in like 2008, maybe 2006, somewhere in, in, that, uh, in that time period there. But anywhere from 14 C 28 in, uh, D2, uh, so a lot of different variations on this knife, um, and they're all going to be either frame lock or liner lock. Now this one, having the carbon fiber scales, has the liner lock, and again, this one's going to have 
the speed safe assisted opening it's also going to have the safety right there this one's coming in at 118 and of course these were all designed by ken onion who actually and a lot of people don't realize this he is the most award-winning knife designer of all blade shows he has won more awards than any other knife designer of all time and that really speaks to the work that ken onion has done he's designed for kershaw zero tolerance crkt work sharp he's done some incredible work and the Kershaw Leak is is right up there. I mean, it, it's it's really his legacy knife, if you will. And so we're looking at a version here that is really cool. So this is one of the anodized aluminum versions with the purple handles. We've also got it in the teal right there. Again, all the same dimensions. These are coming in uh, 14C28N on the blade steel right there. All American made. So really, really cool. And that's what's really neat about these. They're all American made. They're coming in under a hundred bucks, except for the carbon fiber version. That one's coming in at 118. But you're talking under a hundred bucks and you can get an American made product that is just really a great all around everyday carry. And that's what I think is so fabulous about this. Now, they just most recently came out with the Random Leak. So that is gonna be the reverse Tonto. Wanted to change up the blade style just a little bit. And this is in the black stone wash version, which is definitely my favorite. I really dig that. Uh, it looks very utilitarian. Um, and I just, I, I love that finish on a knife. So this one's going to be with the frame lock version. And like I said, this is a reversible pocket clip. So you've got the holes right here that you can reverse this pocket clip and have it down there if you want it to be tip up. Or you can keep it tipped down like it is right there. And with that speed safe assisted opening, it's just, I mean, the blade just absolutely flies out of there. Now, these are absolutely fantastic knives. We've got a ton of different ones right now. Um, you can take your pick. Now, one of the most interesting ones that I want to talk about before we finish up this video is going to be the composite blade. So this is a really neat introduction. And Kershaw's done this with a couple of different knives. So this one's coming in with the stainless steel on the handles. It is the frame lock, and this one's coming in with two different blade materials. So you can actually see a seam right there where this has been uh, fused together. So on the top or the spine side of this blade is going to be 14C28N. On the cutting edge side is going to be really tough D2. So that makes this a, a really great, you get kind of the best of both worlds. So D2 is going to have a really great cutting edge, um, really great edge retention. Um, not terrible on ease of sharpening, and uh, sharpenability is not, uh, you know, not that difficult, but um, it's going to be a great blade edge, but you're also going to get the uh, corrosion resistance of 14C28N on the top side of that blade. So a really cool concept right there and something a little bit different from Kershaw, and uh, I really dig, I really dig that. I think it's fantastic. So let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. Do you think this is the best EDC ever made? I guess time would certainly say that uh, it's very possible. Do you think this is, I mean, you can't deny that this has been one of the most popular, if not the most popular, modern folder uh, in the last 20, 30 years. So let us know what you think in the comments down below. As always, folks, the ATC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works smkw.com and remember if it cuts like a leak i gotta take a leak <laughs> that's weird um all right so folks we know the kershaw leak and its popularity we know it's one of the most popular edc knives out there if you own a kershaw leak no matter where you got it from i want you to take a picture of it and post it on social media and tag us in it we want to see your leak so folks Show us your leak, right? Show me your leak. <laughs>